Good morning to CMC Espresso from the Frankfurt office of CMC Markets. With a massive oversupply in oil services, that is trilling rigs, completion rigs, frag spreads and, and so on, uh, it will take years for oil services prices to recover back to old highs. But as recently as the start of this week, Wall Street rediscovered its appetite for oil service stocks as Transocean published the news that it has won a large contract to dig for deep sea oil off the coast of India. This is seen by many as a signal that after two years of downsizing and cost cutting the oil services sector may get ready to stabilize and prepare for a rebound. Indeed, the reason for this is also the oil price itself, which settled higher above $51 yesterday when you look at Brent crude prices. And that was on the back of news of terror attacks in Nigeria and because of Colin, that is a tropical storm in the Gulf of Mexico gaining strength. So far, no production has been idle, but um, yeah, nobody knows if that may be coming. The storm season is ahead of us in the Gulf of Mexico. So when you look at the um, trend in Brent and WTI prices, um, technically it's absolutely intact. So there are technical buyers, momentum buyers, all together pushing crude prices um, higher. Some oil service stocks like Noble, Ensco, or NABORS went up over 10% in the past two days. While there will still be problems in the sector, it seems that after the rebound in oil prices, uh, markets no longer think that there will be a widespread bankruptcies wave coming. In the end, we have a classic pork cycle here. High prices induce higher production, which in turn pressures prices and hampers production growth. And then prices go up and so on and so on. Gold yesterday had its second day of consolidation as it still competes with stocks in the Dow Jones, Nasdaq and S&P 500 indices, um, which might very well be just in the beginning of a major technical breakout. Although futures were coming back when you look at the S&P uh, on CMC markets overnight, it came back a little and there was a breakout out of a technical flag on gold. So points go to gold overnight. Interestingly, Bank of America, Merrill Lynch, institutional and retail clients after selling stocks for 19 consecutive weeks, they stepped back into the markets as buyers of stock in the past week. So that was the largest bank in the United States publishing this series for the last months. And uh, I was always wondering who is buying stocks when the customers of the crate of the largest uh, US bank is selling and are selling stocks. So the same was for mutual funds, um, capital flows. You could see that over the past weeks and months, um, they were sellers of stocks and now they might return. So this may be a sign that underinvested fund managers are readily willing to enter the market and buy into rising equity prices to reinvest the high cash rates, which have been as high as 8% on average globally. Um, so as uh, early as the start of last week, so that was a Reuters survey back then. So yes, one should clearly watch what U.S. stocks are doing here. They could be, there could be some chances of a major technical breakout. All-time highs are just in reach, just 1% ahead.